Okay. And it's recording on. Does it hear you? Yeah. Can you hear me? I hear you perfectly. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for popping on. Um, I know this is short notice, but you know it was a uh, breaking news, as we like to say it. Yes. Yes, it was. Well, it's, uh, it's he had he had to say something during uh, Independence Texas Independence Day. Right. What a day. What a day to announce it. Um, okay, so we got your statement, um, but I just want to go ahead and ask you, what are your thoughts about the governor announcing Texas can now fully reopen and ending the mask mandate? Well, I'm very disappointed in the governor. Uh, I'm disappointed because, you know, he's been telling us that he follows science uh, for, for making decisions. Uh, and I don't know what science he's following now uh, to eliminate the wearing of masks. Uh, I, I don't know if there was an objective evaluation. Uh, it seems to me that it was a subjective evaluation. Uh, you know, here in, here in the Rio Grande Valley in Hidalgo County, we just, just barely got under the 15% hospitalization uh, threshold. So, so we, we know we were moving in the right direction. And, and, and we agree with him that we ought to let science dictate our actions. And we know that science says, you know, separate yourself from others, uh, wear facial covering, uh, clean, clean, wash your hands, uh, you know, do all these things. Mm -hmm. uh, so no, I, 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 wish, I wish he wouldn't have done this. Okay, um, we're just gonna go ahead and check your audio because you sound a little staticky. We mm -hmm. wanna make sure that okay. you your audio, can you hear? Mm -hmm. Does it sound static? Okay. Is that any better? Oh. Do you hear it? Is that better? It's, it's fine. It's, the, it's, just, it's, it's just this? Yeah. But it records perfect? It's going to be a little digitized. It's the connection. Okay. Okay. So yes, we're fine. Um, so, yes, I mean, um, let's talk about where Hidalgo County is right now. Just yesterday, I think there was over 600 um, cases that you guys reported yesterday, nine deaths as well um you guys reported yesterday the cases uh, it doesn't seem like we've we've been in a in a in a trend where we're going down it seems like we've just kind of been static um so what are your thoughts on this i mean Hidalgo county didn't see its first covid case until march 21st which i think was a little bit later than um other parts uh, of the state well, so well what you first what first what you have to understand is uh, we report when things are reported to us, and we have a multiple air of people that are that are reporting that are reporting to us. And the methodology changed, and the methodology changed to say, okay, here here are the ones that tested positive. These are the ones that more likely than not are going to test positive, and here are probably they're going to test positive. So that's why the numbers the numbers have gone high. To me, you know, the real numbers to look at because a, a lot of what we're doing is we wanted to make sure that we, we, we didn't overburden the hospitals. We wanted to make sure that the hospitals were not overburdened with COVID patients because patients are normally uh, going to hospitals for, for other reasons, for elective surgeries and for other reasons. Uh, so we wanted to do that. So we, we, we pay a lot of attention to how many people are in the hospital, how many people are really sick in the hospital, and then how many people are in vents. Uh, uh, right now, what we're seeing is we're seeing people, yes, they're going to the hospital, but before they were staying three or four or five weeks, now they're staying three or four or five days. So, so there's been a lot of improvement in, 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 in the number of days that patients that are, are going to the hospital that are staying in the hospital. So all those, are, all those are good trends. The other thing I want to tell everyone is that, you know, uh, we've uh, we've vaccinated over 160,000 people. Uh, around 78,000 people have already uh, contracted the disease. So there's there's over 200,000 uh, people out there in Hidalgo County that are that already have the antibodies to fight this thing. So so we're we're moving it we're moving in the right direction. But but to me, what do we know? We know that we have a very toxic virus out there. We know that there are some safeguards that we can take to help us mitigate the spreading, the spreading of that virus. 
we we're now learning how to operate this toxic environment. Why are we stopping? <laughs> Why are we going to stop? We're not out of it yet. We're still. I mean, look at how many people have not been vaccinated. Go tell them that that, that we don't have a problem anymore. So I'm, I'm very disappointed with this decision, and I wish it hadn't happened. Uh, so I hope that the people in Hidalgo County will act responsibly, continue to act responsibly, continue to wear the mask, continue to have separation, continue to do the things uh, that, we're, that we're supposed to do so we can get out of this thing and, and not come back to it. Right. So one thing that he did mention at the very end was that county judges can still have uh, COVID restrictions. But if but someone cannot be penalized or jailed for not following these restrictions. So, I mean, do you think that it's essentially, I mean, you can't really enforce it, but you're giving people a suggestion, possibly? How do you see that? Well, uh, yes, you know, obviously, obviously, when you have a speeding limit and you violate this, the, the limit, you get penalized for violating it. Uh, when you do things that you're not supposed to do, there's always a penalty for that. So obviously that is a deterrent or that is a tool that we have to help us enforce those rules. So having, you know, no, no consequences to a rule, then it's like not having the rule. But I, 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 have, a, I have a strong feeling that, that Hidalgo County is made up of good people uh, you know, I've seen I've seen the best and the worst actually through this pandemic. Uh, as as I go from city to city, from school to school, from area to area, see all the people that are associated with, with, with vaccinating the people. Uh, you know, the the local communities, the local schools, everyone. Henry Ford would have been very proud to see the efficiency that we're doing it. And and this is the result of communities coming together and saying, hey. We're going to do this thing together because it's going to help us all. So I'm still, I still believe that that our people at Dawa County are going to ignore what the governor said, and we're going to, we're going to continue to follow, you know, the proper steps to to mitigate the spread of this virus. And hopefully, we don't need any rules to tell us to do those. Hopefully, everybody will act responsibly and do that. So then, here's my question, and I don't know if you will be able to answer this or not. But when you go into a business, right, the mask mandate is going to be over according to Governor Abbott uh, next week. If somebody goes in to a business and they are not wearing a mask, but the owner wants them to wear a mask, is there anything that they can do? I mean, how is it that they can still protect their business if they feel like they want to? Well, uh, again, I have not sat down with, with, with our lawyers. I just got a call from, from our legal department so we can start reviewing his order and what order modifications we need to do to my order. But my, my understanding is that I, I, I still have the power to ask the businesses to, to, to have certain regulations within their businesses. And, and that, does have, that does have authority. So I'm, I'm hopeful that, that we can at least say uh, businesses continue to impose that mass restriction Today, myself, I mean, you know, uh, I'm driving in a car, I, I just got out of the restaurant, I had my mask on, I put it on, I took it off, and then I went to a drugstore to pick something up. I, I left it in the car and, and I was going in there, I felt so embarrassed, you know, and you have to run back, you know, and, and, and it's, a, it's a cultural thing and it's that, that, we have to, that we have to get to used to, but, but once, once, once we're all conscious of it, I, 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 I don't see it as a big thing. And it's such a, a plus thing according to science that it's really a preventive of the, of, the, of the spreading of the virus. So I'm for it. So when do you think Hidalgo County will be able to feel comfortable not wearing a mask and comfortable um, maybe going out more? Is it just when we have cases in the single digits or when we have no cases at all? I, I, I'm not qualified to answer that question uh, yet. I, I'm gonna let uh, the medical people and the people that study those things. Uh, the way that I, you know, I was asked this question before and, and, and I said, look, I, I don't have a matrix. I don't say, oh, when we get to a hundred in the hospital, I'm gonna do this or 50 in the hospital, I'm gonna do this. Uh, I get a feeling of where we are and, and, and I go, 
express it to, to, to the medical, our, our medical authority and to our health department people. And we sit down and talk. And, and if the three or four or five of us pretty well agree with the same thing, then, then I think we're moving in the right direction. And if somebody disagrees, then, then we need to hear what the disagreement is. But, but to me, uh, I, I, felt, I feel that a conservative decision uh, offers more protection than, than a liberal decision when it comes to the public safety. And I don't wanna lose another person. Uh, you know, my, my, my assistant uh, in, private, in private practice, uh, her husband got, got the virus, she got it, her children got it, then her, the in-laws. Well, everybody survived except the mother. The mother was, had underlying conditions and they lost the mother. Okay, I mean, five survived, but we lost one. That's too many. We can't, we can't allow that to happen. Yeah. Um, well, thank you, uh, Judge, for, for speaking to me. Is there anything else that you maybe want the public to know, obviously, about Texas reopening, your stance for it, maybe what you want to tell them that they should probably still do while we fight this virus? Well, what I want to tell everyone in Hidalgo County is this is our home. This is where we work, this is where we live, this is where our children go to school, this is where we go to church. This is our home. And we decide what is, what is appropriate for us and what's not appropriate for us. Right now, it's appropriate for us to take all the precautions necessary for us not to endanger ourselves or any of our dangers. So we know what science tells us. Science tells us to separate ourselves physically, to wash our hands, sanitize the areas we frequently use uh, and wear a facial covering, continue to do that and, and hope we will be out of this thing soon. All right, thank you so much. Um, is there anything else that you would like to add? No, no, thank you, that's... Okay, and when will you guys be making an announcement um, when you go ahead and you read through it with your legal team? Well, his order doesn't take an effect until Wednesday, so hopefully by the end, by the end of this week, uh, I'll be able to, to decide what changes need to be made to my order and, and hopefully by the end of the week, we'll, we'll have it in place. Have something, okay, out. Um, all right, thank you so much. That answers all my questions. You stay safe. Likewise. Okay, bye-bye.